This has to be the coolest bottle I've ever bought in my entire life. I hate it here, and yet here I am. My favorite color is green. It's this exact kind of shade of green. So I picked this one up from fragrancebuy.ca. They're like my go-to right now. It's a cool cylinder style kind of box. It pops open. Ooh, that like suction. You know how I feel about suction. Thanks for sharing. It's pretty. Excellent looking bottle. This green hue on there is one of my favorite colors and it's this is my favorite bottle in my entire collection. I know the little nipple knob thing here, the cap, it's a little weird, but as far as the bottle, 10 out of 10. Vibrant Vetiver Delight. So this is from Paris Corner and Paris Corner is getting a lot of hype right now. They have some good offerings. Vibrant Vetiver is one of the fragrances that I saw on fragrance by and i was intrigued i watched glam fine's uh video on it and she did a good job she sold me on it she did go check out her video and uh we'll give this a whirl here the atomizer is actually really nice the bottle the atomizer it's perfect juicy there's a lot of citruses in here. Vetiver is super present. The name is exactly what it smells like. It is super vibrant. And the color of the bottle here matches the scent perfectly. It's super vibrant and it's got a green juicy citrus to it. A lot of people get turned off by the note of vetiver. A lot of people don't really like that earthy vetiver. This is done in such a fresh, uplifting, the earthiness in the vetiver in this is super dialed back to the point where it, it comes across as like a wood or like a cedar wood or a sandal wood. It's super creamy and smooth. It's nothing rough and rugged like some vetivers come across. It's super pleasant. Let's look up the notes on this. Lemon, blackcurrant, bergamot, African orange flower, violet, vetiver, musk, virgin cedar. So I pick up so much citrus at the top. The lemon, the blackcurrant, the orange, they're just so present in this. It's a citrus bomb and it's smoothed out with all that woods in the base. There's more cedar in here than vetiver. Vetiver is very present though, don't get me wrong on that, but it's it's not like a, you know, overbearing vetiver. It's smooth, it's creamy, and it mixes in with the cedar wood splendidly. I'm excited to give this one away. It's a very work-friendly, everyday kind of scent. This actually could be a signature scent, and from what uh, a few other reviewers have said about it, it does perform quite well. So I'm looking forward to that most definitely. I got to spend more time with it, and I love it. I, I really do. This has become one of my favorite vetiver fragrances. I really do think that this one is extremely misleading. And what do I mean by that? I think that the name vetiver really detracts people from buying vetiver fragrances. A lot of people don't really like the smell of vetiver, that dirty, earthy vetiver. And I get it. A lot of people don't get that vibe. I like the vibe. This one has juicy citrus. It's just so juicy. This one has kind of a Dior Homme Cologne kind of juicy citrus in here. It is super fresh. It's super uplifting. And the vetiver is nothing earthy. It is smooth. It's refined. And it's almost honestly, all the other woods that are within this shine through a lot more than the vetiver. I feel like the vetiver is just playing a background role in the what's going on with all the cedar, and all the other woody notes in here. I, I feel like it's taken a back seat. That's why I think it's a little misleading being a uh, vetiver delight. That's just my take on it. As far as the performance on it, it's superb. You're not gonna get like a beast mode out of this, but I did get eight hours and it was you know, ever so present on me. It's non-offensive too, really. It's very unisex too. Uh, I, I could see a lady wearing this, absolutely. It's non-offensive. It's right up there with Terra de Mez Owen Tens Vetiver for me. It has that same kind of juicy citrus at the top um, without so much harsh vetiver, you know, in that base, but um, really stunning stuff. And it's pretty affordable too, so you can't really go wrong with it. Um, really good stuff. I'm very impressed with this. This is going to be on a lot of my uh, cheap lists and a lot of my 
um, recommendations. If you guys like fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. I make nothing but fragrance related content here on the channel. It's weekly and I, you know, we get a kick out of it. We share our sense of the day, you know, on the community tab. Check it out. Take care and we'll see you next time.